Oh, hi. Vera Carr. Welcome to the Kuwaita Baptist Church, where everyone is welcome, even Catholics. <laughs> well, how are you? How are you? Darling, that is just the prettiest blouse. Do you know I used to have a blouse just like that one? Years ago. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how some people can just wear anything? <laughs> well, I thought you were dead. <laughs> now, I don't know who told me that, but I'm sure glad they were wrong. <laughs> My goodness, how is everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome. <sighs> well, I, Vera Carp, Vice President of the Smut Snatchers of the New Order, in the absence of our President, the Reverend Spikes, do hereby declare this meeting to be officially open. Now, we need to send out a communique from our Education Committee. Now, after all of the vicious things they have said about us in the newspapers, we have decided to become more flexible on our stand on bilingual education. Now we do indeed have a bilingual program to submit to Tuna schools. The difference is our program is one of moderation. It entails learning the following Spanish phrases. <clears throat> Habla who stayed English, which is do you speak English? <laughs> Quanto, which is how much? <laughs> Don't day, pway day, combe yawar, estay cheque, which is where can I cash this traveler's check? <laughs> Poor favor, en veyeme, un botones, Para Reku Gawar, me e Quepe. Which is, please send me a boy for my luggage. And the last one is, no. He paid it esto. Which is, uh uh, I did not order this. <laughs> Now that is all the Spanish any red-blooded American ought to feel obligated to learn. You know? <laughs> Let's just see them make fun of that in the newspapers. <laughs> well, he is still not here, so I'm just gonna forge ahead. <laughs> now we need to send out a snack squad. Well, we do. We need to send out a book snatching squad to the Tuna High School Library to check those dictionaries. Now we have a new list of words that have been declared possibly offensive or misunderstandable to pre-college students. Now those words are <clears throat> hot hooker, coke clap, deflower, ball knocker, and nuts. <laughs> Now, after much prayer and soul searching with the Lord, we have decided not to include snack. <laughs> Other words on this year's list. Now we know that some of you have some very strong feelings about snack. Other words. But we just can't afford to change our letterhead at this time. <laughs> Send out a book snatching squad to the Tuna High School Library. You know what? I have already told them that. <laughs> well, Vera, that's all the fun of being president is sending out the snatch artists. Oh, I know, and I promise I won't do it again. <laughs> Please don't. All right, folks. Uh, we've got a new communique on our bilingual education program. Oh, and do you know what? 
<laughs> I have already told them that too. <laughs> Well, you just told them everything, didn't you? Well, what was I supposed to do for 15 minutes while I waited for you? Sing a show tune. Look, I am not going to get into this power struggle thing in front of all these people. Radio people are here. So they are. <laughs> Hello, Arliss. How are you? Oh, fine, fine, fine. What's that? Are we ready with the Buckner eulogy? Well, yes, of course we are. Go ahead. Yes. We're ready with the Buckner eulogy. Uh, tell you what, Armas, uh, you just set her up right back there, and uh, when you're ready, you just kind of wave your hand, and then, oh, you're ready. <laughs> uh, no, 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 it's all right, it's all right. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Yeah. Um, <coughs> are we live? <coughs> <coughs> I say, I just want to say a few words. A few words about a friend of mine and a friend of Tuna's. <laughs> Roscoe Buckner spent his whole life in service to his community, his, his country, and his Lord. And we're sure that when the roll is called up yonder, he'll be there. He was a judge who made hay while the sun shined. <laughs> but always let a smile be his umbrella. <laughs> he always kept his sunny side up. <laughs> and always, I say always, saw the silver lining behind every cloud. <laughs> he was a judge who took no wooden nickels. <laughs> nor threw caution to the wind. But look before he left and never got in over his head. <laughs> no, he kept his head while all about him were losing theirs and blaming it on him. <laughs> kept stiff upper lip and his nose to the wheel. About this man, we can truly say he was one of a kind. A jolly good fellow. <laughs> Which nobody can deny. <laughs> he was one for all and, and all for one and to his own self true. And I can tell you this. He did it his way. <laughs> he was a serious minded judge. Who let bygones be bygones. But remembered the Alamo. <laughs> About this man, we can truly say he was the cream in Tuna's coffee. He fought fire with fire, kept the home fires burning when he couldn't stand the heat. He got out of the kitchen. He walked that extra mile. He was walking softly, but he carried big stick. He was a pepper, a man's man, early to bed, early to rise. He laid his cards on the table, gathered at the river, and brought in the sheaves. Hunger was his best pickle. What in the devil does that mean? Hush, Philip. He was a judge who wouldn't fire until he saw the whites in their eyes. But he whistled a happy little tune, praise God, and passed the ammunition. For he had not yet begun to fight. For never, ever, ever did I ever hear that man say die. He just did. <laughs> he was an upstanding civil servant who practiced what he preached put his best foot forward and his money where his mouth was. And when the going got tough, <laughs> he was gone. <laughs> Not easy to find the words to describe such a thing. <laughs> but I've done my best. We commend his soul to you, O oh Lord. And I, Reverend Spikes, recommend him. <laughs> amen, Lord, amen. What's that, Ollis? I'm sorry, what? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, it's all right, it's all right. It's, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> This is the Reverend Spikes. And I just want to say, I, I say, I just want to say a few words 
few words about a friend of mine and a friend of Tuna's. <laughs>